I'm Dr. Mohua. Today we will be taking up a section on information, asymmetric information and market failure. So we understood that when we were talking about the risk and uncertainty and then the investor's choice problem, we understood it very clearly that the information plays a very important role in this whole thing. So as we, I was talking in my very first class that what will be the oil exploration if a, if a uh, company goes for then suppose an oil exploring company goes with an oil exploration so he uh, and uh, there is two alternative he might get oil or he might not get oil so if it gets oil its share will be off will hike to 400 or if it doesn't get oil then its share will drop down to 200 or 150 rupees or whatever now the question is this you are a simple, you are a sing, uh, simple um, individual who wants to who wants to buy shares. Now your question is, should I go for it or shouldn't I? So you need to have information. So that's why information is something which plays a very very important role in this entire choice problem uh, in the context of risk. So we cannot leave this information section here. So now the uh, why. <coughs> why we have taken asymmetric information? It is not why not symmetric information? Because asymmetric information is something which will lead finally to market failure. Because you don't know genuinely what will happen and your information will somewhere or the other will have some difference from the what the reality happened. So that's why it is called the asymmetric information. So that's why uh, um, so for example if we uh, take a very simple example is always been referred in the text and it is the car industries and it's a used car so a person wants to buy a second hand car and there the question comes of the asymmetric information so the seller will be having a pretty good idea of the but uh, the seller has got a very good idea of what is the quality of this car but the buyer from the other side doesn't know exactly what is the standard of the car or what is the quality of the car and so there comes the asymmetric information plays a role in settling down the price of it so it's a very simple example been uh, been it generally you know this uh, this uh, example of a lemon and plum is given here so just for a um, it's a generally been used as a lemon is somewhere which is not of good quality and plum is something which is of very good quality so suppose just in for example suppose there is a car market and where 100 people has 100 people have come to sell their car and out of which the 50s are plums and 50s it's a very simple example which is always referred in the book and uh, Varian has always used it and to refer that the simple one um, to make the conception very clear it's a 50 50 thing suppose let's for take for example lemon is 50 and plum is 50. now the question is this the seller of the plum knows that it's a plum and so that's why it will quote suppose a price within 2000 to 2400 or 5 2500 2500 dollar and on the other hand the lemon knows it's a lemon quality and so he will be quoting somewhere between 1000 to 1200 so now the uh, the buyers doesn't buyers cannot see the quality suppose for example the seller knows the quality so he can identify whether it's a lemon but the buyer suppose he doesn't know the quality and so then in that case what will be happening so if we consider that the half uh, we find out the expected income in this case half of 1200 plus half of 2400 we get 1800 so uh, it's a simple example 1200 half is 6 Mm, uh, 600 and 2400 1200 so 1200 plus 600 it's 1800 now the question is this this 1800 is less for the plum but high for the lemon so there the question comes of asymmetric information because of this disparity between the between the um, expected income of uh, for the information failure because the other side of the buyer didn't know what is which one is plum and which one is um, Lemon so there the play of play comes and the lemon plays a Lemon gets the higher price relative to the 
plum. So this is something which is finally called that it is a subject matter of the market failure. So market could not give the exact price of the product which it deserved, but it is coming into someone less for the one who deserved more and more for the one who deserved less. So it's a simple example which has been said that lemma uh, and this is uh, this is something which is subject to externality there are some external factors that is something which is outside the uh, model which has worked and uh, within the um, mindset of the people and and there it played the role of putting the price of less uh, than uh, what uh, it has quoted. So Lemon has quoted the price that I expected something of 20, 1000 to 1200 but he is landing up with the expected uh, with the probability of both of them with the variability of both the occurrence PR uh, of buying the plum and PR of buying the lemon is equally probable then we will have a 0 0.5 1200 and plus 0 0.5 2000 400 and so that therefore we will be lending up with a price which is high for the lemon and less for the plum now if the seller in this case of the plum will not sell it but if the buyers is totally ignorant about the plum and the lemon quality he will be going with it and he will be going with this higher price and will be going settling down with the lemon at a higher uh, at a higher price and so this is called the asymmetric information this is this is something which has happened in the area of the risky um, buying and tra tra transactions and this has happened uh, due to the lack of information or in um, or due to the uh, not lack of it is a for asymmetric information the it is not the same information which it really poses and there the question of the information failure comes up and the uh, adverse selection uh, matter starts playing the role. Thank you.